Good afternoon, members of Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. How's everybody doing today? It's for me. I am doing fine. I am uh, making a live video here. I brought my son to a baby shower. So there's a, a church. It's a pretty big church. Uh, and he's in there for a baby shower. So I came here along the the church. I'm going to go around the church making the spiritual life. You know, if I uh, do capture anything, you know, after I debunk the video, uh, I'll share it with y'all. Uh, there's a, like a creek here beside the, the area. So I'm going to, if y'all look right here behind me, there's a creek. So I'm going to go walk around the edge here a little bit, then go back into the parking lot. I hope everybody's uh, doing great. As for me, I'm doing pretty good, brothers and sisters. Uh, just here, brought my son to a baby shower. He just got off of work and he didn't want to to let his friend down. So that's why I came here and, and I'm, oh, there's deer. Let me, let me flip the camera over. I know I heard something. There they are over there. Let's see, I can see them. They're, they're over there. I knew I heard something, but I didn't want to look. Kind of like what I hear over there, but uh, you see them moving over there? There's three of them. They're running. Three deers. You see, you see them running over there. There's the deers. Running into the woods. So I'm going to keep the camera focus this way to see if I see anything else in this area I guess it's just like a like a ravine of some sort it runs deep there's another one there's another deer running you see brothers and sisters uh, in that area over there I've seen a deer run before like this like those are running uh, let me face the camera back my way. I've seen the air before and the other area running. Uh, I'll stay here for a little bit for the shade. And, you know, when I hear the movement of something moving in the woods, right, I expect to see something, right? Like, like just like right now, we've seen four deers, right? There was uh, three running together and one that was running by itself. So when I hear that kind of activity, you know, and I'm looking around, I'm expecting to see some kind of movement, but there's nothing there, you know? Like when I'm looking, I can't see nothing visually, but when I debunk my videos, you're, you're able to see the imagery that's within the videos, brothers and sisters, you know? So uh, I'm just why I'm making this video right now and I got the camera facing this direction for some reason or another, every time I, I go do a spiritual live, you know, I catch something within my videos. So, you know, as I'm maintaining a love foundation and I place the Heavenly Father first, there are uh, spirits that are amongst us that some might be trapped here on earth because maybe the way they passed, crossed over or they're not uh, resting in peace, you know, and then you got you know, these DDNs that, that manifest out of nowhere and they could take many different forms, right? The DN can take many different forms and they're tricksters, you know, they're here to deceive us to thinking that we might be seeing a Bigfoot or a, a dog man, a moth man. Uh, that's why I'm here making this video. I'm going to flip the camera back the other way real quick. This here in Texas, y'all. These woods look a, li uh, look a little bit more more dense, more thick than where I, where I live. So I'm gonna continue to walk this way, see see what I run into as I'm making the spiritual life. I hope everybody is is doing well.
So here we go. I'm making the spiritual live in this this wooded area. Well, where would it, if if uh, the dogman was real, right? As y'all notice, those deers were running. They were they were they, they come out running. You know, they're flesh creatures, deers. They're 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 in the flesh, and you see them coming running out of the wood line as as I, I got near them. They come out running out of this path right here. This uh this four deer that I caught at the beginning of the video. So let me go in here into their terrain, into their territory. You know, some people say that the dogman, Bigfoots, that's what they hunt, right? Uh, they hunt their, they hunt for deer, you know, uh, they go after the hunt. So I'm just gonna go through here, through this area, you know, it's fine, there could be wildcats or something else. I have uh, no weapon on me or nothing like that. So I'm just making this video out here in the woods. As you can see, you see how this, this woods are like pushed, these tree branches are pushed forward. What could have caused that? Is it the way that they're growing? It seems like something pushed them to get, go the upper, uh, opposite direction. Is it like something, you know, let us know, stay away from this area because the way there's uh, pieces of, I guess, like high grass, they're all bent it forward. So I hear some water. So I'm going to continue to walk this area. And I'm facing the camera forward. <coughs> some kind of marks here on the ground. Could be, could be deer, deer hoof marks. Uh, somebody's shirt. I know that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm going to continue to, I believe there, there is water down there because I hear it. So I'm going to go in there, y'all. I'm going to be adventurous while I'm waiting here for my sons. Uh, I'm going to go here in this, in this wood, in this wood line. There's some, some barbed bar wire fence here. It might be, might be pri private property, but I'm still going in here. Oh, there we go. We're right here. See if anything uh we run into anything out here. Look at look at this y'all. Beautiful right. It's a creek. So in this this creek creek areas there could be a lot of things. You've seen the wildlife, it doesn't matter if it's a deer, a raccoon, a possum, whatever wildlife, they need water as a water source, you know, and possibly a food source for them. So th that's why the deers were over here probably drinking water that's coming off the creek. So right now I'm kind of like in private property <laughs> uh, because it was a barbed wire fence. But I'm still gonna go through here real quick. Look at that guys. There's a creek that runs through here. This is, I believe, it runs through Belton. There's a lot of creeks that run through the central Texas area uh, in which, you know, there could be all kinds of uh, critters because of the creek. I'm just showing this, this to y'all real quick. Trying to see if I can find anything, but I'm gonna cross over back the other way. All right, let's go back this way. All right, we're gonna continue to walk. There is uh, all kinds of tracks here. I'm just gonna walk around this area. Uh, after I walk around, I'm gonna talk. I'm just trying to get a better look at this, this creek. 
see if I encounter anything out of the ordinary. There we go. Nice old tree right there. Nice place to come uh, fishing, I guess. Well, there is a lot of rocks, so I don't know if it's a good place to fish because uh, the, your fishing line might get caught up on the on the rocks that are, or the limestone, you see? There's a lot of limestone over here, which there's a big possibility that the limestone that's in these areas all throughout Central Texas could cause paranormal activity also. So let me uh, go back this way. I'm just gonna keep it, holding the camera, showing you where I'm at. And I've never been to this location, so I'm just walking uh, till I get go all the way around, see what we find here. It looks like the creek is a little bit faster on this side. There we go. Now we're talking. A little little drop right there. You know when people say that there's no wood, woods in Texas, there's no areas in Texas where uh, something can hide. Well, they're wrong because there is a lot of places where something can hide here in Texas. There's a lot of wooded areas where nothing has been. Uh, a built on the land hasn't been messed with so there is a lot of land kind of like the creek that runs over there by elms grove but that one has a lot of water in there right now it always has water because it hasn't as a belton the it comes through belton so i'm just gonna go through here so i can see where i'm at Stand by this tree. Look at look look how old this tree is, y'all. Look at that. Look at those tree limbs. That's some huge tree limbs right there. Let me let me get go go further back. Now that's a big tree. Look at that. It's something maybe a uh, I don't know if. A bobcat could, could climb that, a cougar, you know, the dogman is real, a DDN or a Bigfoot, but that's, that's some huge tree limbs right there, y'all. Look at that. That's a big old tree right there. It's massive. Look how white this sucker is. It's pretty big. Let me get a closer look at it. Look at the vines on it. That's around the roots. They're old, old roots. It goes all the way up the tree. All right, I'm gonna continue to keep on going forward. It became a, an adventure exploring this area here. I'm gonna uh, go take another peek at the creek. Uh, see, there's a lot of uh, creeks and water that runs through all throughout Central Texas, just like this. A lot of the natives from back in the day, they they were woodlanders, and this is where they would live at in this kind of areas. You see the limestone up in there? It's like color green. Get a better look at it. As the limestone, some of the limestone is color green. Maybe something will surface up uh, when I finish this video. Let's see how I'm going to follow it all the way around this church that I'm at.
this is kind of weird here the way this this piles the leaves are are laying on here like in a formation of some sort like a circle formation now this is weird i hope there's not no snake in there bro i stepped on a on a I'm stepping on some some logs. Okay. Look, it's a shadow waving. It's I know it's my shadow, y'all. <laughs> Let me head on this ways, see what else I find out here. Come out of the, stay out of the sunlight. Well, there's a, a hole here where there might be a critter. Don't want to find out what kind of critter lives in the hole. Maybe a giant snake. Could be a snake by the pattern of this. Maybe a snake in there, inside this hole. But I want to, Get away from that. There we go. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Me, like I said, I'm here stuck waiting for my sour, uh, a son. He's at a baby shower, so I decided to just do a little, a little walk here to see what I find. This is in Belton, Texas. Right here. There is a lot of water source, guys. That runs all the way through Central Texas, Fort Hood, Lampasas. Uh, a lot of this water goes through the through the lakes that are around here, like Belton Lake, uh, Steelhouse Lake, uh, Blower Lake, and a lot of this water. There's a lot of water that goes through these creeks, where there could be activity, you know, happening. That's why I'm out here right now doing this video. I don't know if I want to follow the bend, so I'm going to go back out here. There's a vehicle back here. Guess where somebody's uh, building something? There's a lot of mosquitoes out here too. <laughs> Look at this. Let me head on this way, see what I encounter over here. I guess there's a guy that's been uh, cleaning up this area. Trying to see what they're trying to build out here. It's a little blanket. Maybe uh, I can get a better close at the, at the bend. See if I find any any marks here or anything. I hear lots of movement up there, guys. Y'all hear that? Whoa. Lots of movement, y'all. Oh, that's a woman all around me. Oh my God, what the hell is that? It's all around me, guys. I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm looking. I hear all kinds of movement out there. 
I've seen that anything comes down. Do y'all hear that? Let me make sure my volume is all the way up. Do y'all hear that? Oh my God, a lot of footsteps, a lot of movement. It's coming from up there. And there's no leaves falling either. Something's up there, y'all. Trying to see if I see, capture anything on camera. Something is moving up there in the wood line. Do y'all hear that? God, what's going on over here? I hear the movement, a lot of walking guys all around me. Up, up down yonder, up on top of the, of the ridge. A lot of movement up there. You can hear the leaves, the leaves are, are, are cracking guys. Like somebody's walking up there. A lot, a lot of movement. So uh, hopefully the camera will be able to capture something. I, I thought I see something there. You hear that? Lots of movement. Uh-oh, something's getting close. My senses are kicking in. Let me, let me scan this around me. Oh my God. There's definitely some activity here, y'all. My senses are kicking in now. And the, the movement is getting closer. It's getting closer. I'm going to keep silent. To, so y'all can hear what I'm hearing. Is anybody out there? Identify yourself. coming downwards guys whatever it is <sighs> my senses are kicking in y'all it's moving all around me how you doing Bro Mike Miko there's something here that's moving all the way around me it's coming downward but I don't see nothing I'm looking visually Oh, there it is. There it is. It's an armadillo. It takes its armadillo making that noise. There it is. And here, here I thought it was something supernatural. See it, guys? It was an armadillo. A video debunked the... The noise of the crackling is was an armadillo. All right, that's a good thing. I knew it was, uh, I knew it was close, but I didn't know it was that close to me. So let me let me get back out of here.
keep on making this video. Look, it was an armadillo making that noise, believe it or not. Imagine, brothers and sisters, I was hearing noises, all kinds of movement. It sounded like it was all around me. And it was an armadillo that was maybe, I guess, uh, five to six feet away, uh, away from me, making the noise through the leaves. But it sounded like it was all around me. So I'm happy I was able to debunk that. <laughs> an armadillo was making that noise. It sounded like there was a lot of things closing up on me because that's how it sounded like. But it wasn't that. So imagine this. How many times have we gone since y'all seen the armadillo come out? How many times have we been in a location that maybe it's not what it seems that... Maybe it's not what it seems of what's out there, you know, what we think it might be out there, and it's something else that might be deceiving us, you know, through, through something natural like that armadillo. So I'm just going to keep on walking back the other way, just showing you where I'm at. sun is going down I'm starting I'm gonna start heading back towards the vehicle or I might go around this building all the way around it to go to the other side <coughs> all right here we go I'm gonna walk along the edge of this wall line I'm gonna face the camera back the other way so y'all can see the scenery of where I'm at. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, sounded like some kind of movement around me and it was an armadillo playing, playing games with me. See, those woods are dense here. These woods are real woods, like where it's super dense, where anything could be in there. Uh, I'm not walking that. It, it, it's too dense. Look at that. Just too dense, y'all. I'm thinking there's a big wall right there. I'm a, that's what it looks like. A giant wall that goes up. Pretty interesting. Look at that. A big wall. With a lot of woods. I'm going to go all around, around this church. Thank you all, uh, bro, uh, Miko Green, for tuning in. Uh, I'm walking all the way around this building to see if I capture anything through camera. This is some pretty and dense, dense woods. I think these woods are way more dense than Elms Grove area. Like super dense. Probably you got poison ivy, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. There is a path there that goes upward. Oh, there's a little shed here in the very back. Let me, let me be super nosy.
Looks like a shed where maybe a dog might be. Huh. Get out of here. Something like some shimes in there, like wind shimes of some sort. It's pretty dense, y'all. Okay. Wow. This is like some dense area. I'm almost around the church, which I'm gonna face the camera over to me at this time. Uh, that's where I'm at. That's the parking lot. Oh man, this is pretty, pretty nice area, but could be all kinds of wildlife out here. So I'll face the camera over to my direction now. Uh, I want to share a story with y'all. This area is so dense, it reminds me of when I used to work, when we used to be migrant workers when I was a kid. And we used to work in, uh, up in Arkansas. We were, they were trying to get us to work in the okra because I was a migrant worker, but I didn't like it because uh, those, those, the okra had little things that or I think there were okras or little tomatoes that had little spikes and I didn't like that so we started uh, doing the cotton working in the cotton uh, as we we're working in the cotton uh, we're, it was lunch time I was taking a break and I seen a nice tree but the tree that I, that I, that I seen was a blackberry tree and I like blackberries because I recognize the tree from back home so I went up towards the tree to, and now as I was eating some berries off that tree, uh, you know, when talk, people talk about Bigfoots, as I was eating the blackberry from the tree, behind the tree, because I could see through it, there was something staring at me. And when people talk about Bigfoots, that's what it, what it seemed like, this monster, gorilla-like, not gorilla, but something in the form of a gorilla, but bigger it was looking right at me and he was trying to make contact with me because he was making a sign with his hand trying to get me to go to where it was at so it was as it was looking at me my mom called me and, and told me to get away from that area because it might be a wild animal so that's when i looked well when i started leaving i looked back and it was gone you know now that i'm older you know uh I remember seeing that when I was growing up. Was it a Bigfoot? Or was it a DDN? A disembodied demonic Nephilim? That they can manifest uh, into any form. I believe the, the Bigfoots are written within the Bible. Not to take anything away from them, but they live in the thickets and the brushes. You know, it talks about a, a creature that lives in the brushes in that, in that way, in that form. They call it the the wild man or something like that. That lives in the thickets, in the thorns. So it lives in the in the in the thick thick area of the woods. And within the Bible, but then you know, you got to think in the sequence how everything happened within the Bible. But that's like at the very beginning. I, I believe it's. I can't remember the name of the chapter where it's written in the Bible, but I believe it's somewhere within the. Uh, beginning of the Bible where it talks about that but then, then we got the Didion that could uh, shapeshift 
or manifest uh, themselves into anything, which, you know, they're very trickery. Uh, they like playing games. They could uh, mimic, uh, mimic more manifest or anything and mimic any kind of voice. So if you're hearing somebody say your name and you're out there with your best friend and you're going toward the voice, but then your best friend calls you from another direction and is your best friend, then something was literally trying to lure you in deeper into the woods, you know? When you hear about the missing 911 cases of the children missing, you know, I believe is is has to do with the DDN. They're trying to take they try to take up uh, kids when they're kids, where they haven't been through life. You know, they haven't been in sin or nothing like that. So they try to befriend them. You know, just kind of like imaginary. When people can talk about imaginary friends, what has the ability to manifest into an imaginary friend to trick you? That is, it's your friend, the DDN. Uh, I believe that's how a lot of people wind up missing. Not just children, but people that go towards the woods or they go camping and then next thing you you, you know, they're gone. You know, uh, the DDN has that kind of capability of to make, mimic voices and manifest in into any form. I hear some moving in here, but I'm not sensing too much right now, but you might never know. If something, sometimes when they manifest, they don't want to manifest that at a deeper form. So they might manifest lightly in which you might not sense them because they're on, on spiritual stealth mode. But then when they might be able to manifest where you're going to be able to see them visually uh, in which that's when it wants you to believe that it's something real or so once you believe it's something real like a Bigfoot a dog man a moth man a goat man a uh, then you know that's the opening it uses to spiritually attach itself to you or possibly spiritually attack semi possess you Right, because that's what it does. It wants to uh, uh, block our spiritual gifts. I hear some movement still here behind me. It tries to block our spiritual gifts uh, that you're not going to be able to sense spiritually. That's why it tries hard to get your attention in that way so it could deceive you and find that opening to attach itself to you uh, so it can block your senses. So you won't be able to see spiritually, sense spiritually, or feel spiritually. And, you know, I like bringing the spiritual aspect of it because this is what it is. You know, uh, of what I've dealt with here in Central Texas, there's a lot of that that happens around here. And, uh, and, uh, what I sense spiritually, you know. But I hope everybody's having a good, a good day. I walked all that quad. I think I walked it maybe, I don't know how long I've been live. I don't wanna make this video too long. I just wanna say, uh, thank you all brothers and sisters. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me, to, to interact with my videos, whether they're on Facebook, on YouTube, with my pictures, whether they're positive comments or negative comments, I just wanna say thank you. I got nothing against nobody, but when you experience something and go through something, and you go through it by yourself, you're the only one that's gonna know exactly what you went through. So when I talk, 
or place pictures about something is because of my experiences and what I've been through. It was, there is a lot of activity that's around. Uh, in saying that, for any doubters, like I tell everybody, there's always an open invitation to go to Elms Grove. Me personally, I don't like going to Elms Grove because I know what's there. Because I experienced it for about a good, from 2006 to 2015, that's about 11 years. I experienced what's there and I know what's there. Like I said, for any doubters, you're more than welcome to go. I'll give you the coordinates to go to it so you can check it out for yourself. Whatever you do, if you do want to check it out, be careful you go at nighttime because that's when the most activity is there, is at nighttime. It act the activity picks up big time in Elms Grove at night, and you'll be able to catch everything that is spoken of, the shadow figures. You'll be able to uh, catch the disembodied voices coming out of the woods. You might see a shapeshifter or a skinwalker, or you might see the 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 dog man or a possible Bigfoot in the form of a Bigfoot or a shapeshifter in the form of a woman because that's how they manifest. And if you do run if you do decide to go into Elms Grove to check it out and you do run into somebody that's coming out of the woods at nighttime and they come and talk to you, pay attention to the eyes. Because you're gonna be able to tell if you're when you go into that area, just for your protection, make sure your spirits are ready. Because what's in that location knows you. It knows what's in your heart. It knows what's in your mind. It knows what's what you've been through. So if you're not in the right path in life, and I would suggest be careful going in there because they will attack. They will spiritually drain your energy. They will attach themselves to you. They will follow you home. Uh, just be careful if you decide to go out there. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. God bless every single one of y'all. Love, light, and blessings from Abram, Abe, Zeus, and Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. God bless every single one of y'all and your families. Peace.